Hey friends, I'm Otis Gibbs, and this is my buddy Tom Utes. He's going to talk about the time that he spent playing with Nancy Griffith. I should also point out that this was recorded a few weeks before she passed away. I uh, produced a record for a friend of mine in Knoxville who had heard some of the Richard Dobson stuff that I'd done, and he. this was actually the first week where we were here in Nashville, and I was really nervous about whether this whole thing was going to work. Anyway, I got this phone call from Knoxville, this guy saying, hey, I'm a friend of Richard Dobson. I love your work, and I heard you moved to town, and do you, can you produce a couple of things for me and come up to Knoxville? I have a studio here and help me do this. And I was like, shit, this, this is easy. Like, like, anyway, it didn't, I mean, it, it was great to have that. It was a great ego boost at the beginning to have some work. And so I needed a rhythm section. And through Richard, I knew that he had worked with uh, Pat McInerney, great drummer who played with Nancy Griffith for many years. And so I called McInerney and said, would you be willing to go to Knoxville for a couple of sessions? He's like, sure. And then we booked Dave Rowe on bass, wonderful bass player, played with Cash and all those people. And so we all went up to Knoxville and made that record. And that's how I got to know Mac and then Pat McInerney. And then I used Pat on a lot of stuff that I produced and a lot of demos that I recorded for myself. And we became really, really good friends. And then Nancy needed uh, her guitar player at the time, Clive Gregson, couldn't play a couple shows. And so I subbed and learned the material and... Um, we got along really well and she liked me and liked my playing and my singing and she was kind of downsizing the band and my style sort of fit in, I think. And so I got the call to be in the band, which was wonderful. I mean, it was my, I had played with David only before and that was artistically very, very satisfying, but obviously Nancy was, was another step. I had actually played with Mary Gaucher before I played with Nancy, but Nancy was, you know, you were on a bus and it was better hotels and bigger gigs and better pay and all that's important you know when you it was important at the time still would be important so and i loved the music i mean i'd i'd worn out other voices other rooms for years and years i loved that record and last of the true believers i think is still one of the greatest singer songwriter records made so it was great um worked together for almost five years toured i toured with her in australia just the two of us with phil kaufman that's that was a trip in many ways and um and we played with the band and i produced a record for her the loving kind and recorded something for shell still silverstein a tribute record with her and it was it was great nancy was one of the most um magnetic performers that i've ever worked with and seen and she didn't do anything i mean she walked out on stage and said this is a john Bryan song and started playing the speed of the sound of loneliness and people freaked out and she had such incredible command of the stage without without doing anything. And I think that's the secret, you know, of of dynamics. If you don't start with a big gesture, everything means something. If you move your foot a little bit, it means something. If you jump around all the time, it means nothing. And she was masterful at that. She was an incredible singer, great pitch, great guitar player. Um I mean the whole the whole package. And people People felt it, especially in Ireland. I mean, we played in Ireland, toured Ireland once a year, and people just ate it up. I mean, they were so in love with her music. Um, it was it was amazing to see that and to be a part of that, you know, playing Across the Great Divide as the last song every night. It's just like, I don't get much better. For me at the time, it didn't get much, much better than that. And I loved all the players in the band. And so, yeah, an amazing experience for me. You know, these things are funny. It's it's great, like everything else in life, it's great when it's great and when it's not so great, it's not so great anymore and you figure out you'd rather do something else or, you know, and that's sort of how the whole thing went. I have no regrets about any of it. It was, it was a great time. I learned a lot and when it was over, it was good that it was over. I want to point out once again that this was recorded just a few weeks before Nancy passed away. Why don't you tell me down below what your favorite Nancy Griffith song is and I'll see you somewhere down the road. Much love to you.